welcome to MK's Global Rasoi. Today's menu for the day is boneless chicken biryani. And there are many parts to this. One, to make the rice. Second, to make the caramelized onions. Third, is to make the gravy. Fourth, is to layer it and then eat it. For the rice, you require three cups of already soaked long grain basmati rice, salt to taste, spices such as cinnamon, cloves, you can also add a bay leaf and water. Let's begin. You're going to pour water, salt, that's one and a half teaspoon, and my cinnamon and cloves. This will go on the gas to cook. The second step involves caramelization of onions for which you require four medium sized onions not finely chopped but just uh, barely diced about say half an inch. You need cinnamon, you need sugar and you need salt along with oil. For the caramelization I have put two tablespoons of oil in the pan It's uh, to heat. Once heated, you place the onions. Allow it to soften and become translucent before you put the rest of the other ingredients. Well, another important ingredient which I missed for flavor is butter. So I'm going to add a dollar and that's it. You don't require more than this. The butter gives it a good flavor. Other than that, now that the onions are soft, you can add a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of sugar. This is what is going to caramelize the onions. And a dash of cinnamon. This is all only for flavor. The third part for the chicken biryani is making the gravy. The ingredients for that include kada garam masalas, which is your cinnamon, big elaichi, cloves, peppercorns, star anise, jeera, salt, tomatoes, biryani masala, coriander, oil, red onions, yogurt, spinach, chilies, ginger and 500 grams of boneless chicken and water. Now let's begin with making the gravy. I'm going to put the kada garam masalas. The oil is already hot. I've put about two tablespoons and while they get roasted I'm also going to put the cumin seeds. I'm going to add the ginger, chilies, finally the onions. I'm also going to add salt over here before I allow them to continue the process of cooking. That's about one teaspoon. Now that the onions are soft, translucent and almost caramelized, we don't want it extremely caramelized like the onions that we made. I'm going to put the rest of the ingredients. That's tomatoes, spinach, and the biryani masala. When the onions are cooked well, it gives a wonderful flavor to the food. So, I'm sure this will have one as well.
Now as these vegetables are almost ready, I'm going to add the chicken, the boneless chicken. So I'm going to add beaten curd to this mixture. And once I mix it all together, I'll add water. Now we're not supposed to add a lot of water, just enough for this gravy and the bone and the chicken to be cooked. Now I'm adding the water. Well, I have now begin the process of layering the biryani. Bottom is the rice layer followed with this is saffron milk. I'm going to just put it aside. I'm going to next add the chicken which is ready. Next, I'm going to put the caramelized onions. Now, I'm going to add the coriander. Well, now that we've finished with the layering, I'm going to close the lid and let this simmer for about 10 minutes on a low flame. Wow, that's a delicious, yummy biryani. The aroma of this beautiful biryani is amazing. I'm now going to serve it. Mm, the fragrance of this biryani is amazing. I just cannot wait to try it out. I'm sure you're waiting for yours as well. If you like this video and if you enjoyed what I cooked today, do like, subscribe and share this video with your family and friends. Don't forget, hit the bell icon to receive notifications on new recipes. Thank you.